It is said that if you ask wrong questions to Google, then even Google is going to give you wrong answers. The same way, if you ask wrong questions to yourself or to your mentors, you will never get the right answer and then you will end up confused, right? Now that is the reason today I'm making this video to give you five crucial questions which you must ask yourself before embarking on a successful career in biosciences. Now, the problem with all of us is we are not manual laborers. We are knowledge workers and knowledge workers must seek answers first to their career questions before disembarking. Because once you have embarked on the journey, it is difficult to change the track. Yes, it is possible, but it is difficult. So why not get started with the right questions? Right. So today, let me give you five questions. Now, the first question is closely related to your interest. Now, what drives you? What motivates you? What is your passion? If that question can be answered, it becomes easier to ask any subsequent question. Now, to me, when I asked this question to myself, it was to help people, to help people in biosciences. That was a question, that was something which I was very passionate about. So I made a career around that. Now the same question I'm asking you, what motivates you? What drives you? What is your passion? Which subject? Right. So I'll tell you my passion was biochemistry, right? But what was uh, exciting me more than biochemistry was helping our fellow bioscientists. So I made a career in biotechnica. But the same way, what subject or what platform, what field motivates you is your passion is the question. First question you should ask. Now let's go into the second question which you should ask. Now the second question which you have to ask yourself is, if I have to fast forward my career to 20 years from today and envision that I am working in this particular lab or this particular company, so what are the skills I'll require that time I should acquire today? What do you require then acquire today? That's the formula. So the question is, what skills I need to acquire now to excel in the future. So that's the second question you have to ask. Let's jump to the third and very interesting question. The third interesting question is, if my life career is a puzzle, what is that puzzle piece which is missing from my career? And what cost I will have to pay to put that puzzle piece into my career? Now, is it some kind of a sacrifice? Is it some, some kind of um, relocation or a movement or I'll have to leave my loved and loved ones, near and dear ones to go to another city? Do I need to hire a mentor? Do I need to join a course? Do I need to uh, volunteer for a company or do I need to join an internship? What is that puzzle piece which is missing in your career today, which you require to achieve your future vision and mission? That's the third question you must ask yourself. And then we will jump to the fourth question. Now, the fourth question is a very personal question, which I asked myself. And that was how durable is going to be this? For example, when you go to a market, right? So you are trying to buy something. So you will ask, OK, how durable is this? Will it get like in one season or two seasons, it will be gone? That is very important. You see, there are a lot of fads and short term trends in the industry. For example, today NGS is there. What if NGS is not there 10 years from today? So if I build a career around NGS and then suddenly it is gone, then I need to upgrade again, right? So we have to always look for the long term, think about the long term. Many students think I've studied till MSc, I should not do PhD, it's too much of work. But think about those next 50 years. You have to build a game which is going to last for 50 years. So if that has to happen, then you have to work on it today. All right. Let's move on to the fifth and very important question. Now, the fifth and very important question is what kind of impact you want to create on this world and the universe. Now, for example, if you are a virologist and you could play a very crucial role in the next pandemic, wow, that's the impact you created. The whole world knows you now. The same way you created a treatment for a rare disease, say cancer or HIV or malaria or dengue. Now imagine if you could create a vaccine for an upcoming pandemic and you could prevent it before it, even if it happens. So these are the impacts which you create. 
you know at the early age when you are in 20s you want to earn more when you are in 30s you want to stabilize when you are in 40s you want to uh, gain wisdom and when you are in your 50s you want to create an impact this is how your life goals and career will change over the next decade okay in the next 40 years so why not decide now what kind of impact you want to create on this world and work in that direction i decided to create an impact on the world of biotechnology by helping all of you and that's why i made this video the same way what kind of impact you want to create in the world of research think about it figure it out what exactly i'll need and then work in that direction so th these are the five crucial questions which you should ask yourself and then you should ask your mentor and you should have three mentors not one the first mentor you already have got is your parent the second is your professional mentor someone from the same field it can be me it can be someone and the third could be somebody not from the field a neutral mentor a neutral advisor so when you take advice from three different zones you get the right clarity mental clarity and then you work in that direction right absolutely without even thinking that okay i have to create this and you just jump in you are not going to get any goal you see i didn't ask these five questions to myself initially when i got started so i was very confused then i met a mentor and he gave me all this clarity and then i built biotech and i want you to build something bigger than this you know you want you should excel in the uh, world of research and that is why i'm standing firm 24/7 for you my email id is shekhar@biotechnica.org s h e k h a r at the rate biotechnica.org drop me a email what's your passion what's your uh, future goal what exactly want to create as an impact on this world and uh, if you have any questions put them down in the comment section thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful and thought provoking to keep thinking you have got this all the best mm -hmm.